everyone. Today we are looking at percents, fractions and decimals. So let's have a look at the definitions for those three concepts. A percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100, and this is the symbol we use for percent. A fraction is a comparison of two numbers by division, and it looks like this. We have a numerator and a denominator, and they are separated by this line called the vinculum. A decimal is a fraction with a base 10 denominator, for example, 10, 100, 1000. So a decimal of 0 0.43 represents 43 hundredths. So the base 10 denominator in this case would be 100. Writing percents as decimals. Well, since percents are ratios that compare numbers to 100, 36% would be 36 compared to 100. And if we think of it as a fraction, we kind of think of it as a division. So 36 divided by 100. And when we are dividing a number by a base 10 number, we know that we need to move the decimal point, the number of spaces to the left that correspond with the number of zeros in that base 10 number. So 100 has two zeros, and so that means we will move the decimal point two places to the left. So 0 0.36 would be how we would write 36% as a decimal. 5% would be 5 out of 100, or 5 over 100. And if we think of it again as a division, it's 5 divided by 100. Again, we're using 100, which has two, dec uh, two zeros, so we'll move our decimal, pla decimal point two places to the left. So we would move it two places to the left, which would give us 0 0.05. So 5% 5 written as a decimal is 0 0.05. Writing percents as fractions. Well, since percents are ratios that compare numbers to 100, 18% compares 18 to 100. And when we're dealing with fractions, we always need to simplify. So what we do is look for our greatest common factor between the numerator and denominator, and then divide the numerator and denominator by that factor. So in this case, it's 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 100 divided by 2 is 50. So 18% written as a fraction in its simplest form is 9 over 50. 12% is the same as 12 over 100. Again, let's have a look to see if we can simplify. In this case, we can. The greatest common factor between 12 and 100 is 4. So if we divide the numerator and denominator by 4, 12 divided by 4 is 3, 100 divided by 4 is 25. So 12% written as a fraction in its simplest form is 3 over 25. 25% is the same as 25 on 100. Greatest common factor in this case is 25, so we divide the numerator and the denominator by 25. 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. So 25% written as a fraction in its simplest form is 1 fourth. So how do we write decimals as percents? Well, you just saw us writing percents as decimals in which we divided by 100 and moved the decimal point two places to the left because 100 has two zeros in it. And if we're doing the opposite, writing a decimal as a percent, we're going to do the opposite, which means multiplying by 100, which means moving that decimal point two places to the right. So 0 0.43 is our decimal, and in order to write it as a percent, we multiply by 100, so we move that decimal point two places to the right. So it would be 43%. Don't forget the symbol for percent. 0 0.43 written as a percentage is 43%. 0 0.07 written as a percentage, same thing. We need to move this decimal point two places to the right, because we're multiplying by 100, and here we have 7%. Writing fractions as percents. There are two ways to do this, and one is a lot more easy than the other, but uh, they both have their place. So. We could first of all do it by finding an equivalent fraction, and this is really easy to do with numbers 
that have a denominator that is a factor of 100. So in this case we have 6 over 25 and 6 on 25, 25 is the denominator and we know that 25 is a factor of 100, it could go into 100 four times. So if we multiply 25 by, one, by 4, we get 100. And to find an equivalent fraction, we need to do the same to the numerator. So we then multiply 6 by 4 and we get 24. So 24 on 100 would be 24%. If it's not easy, if we have a fraction that we're working with and the denominator is not a factor of 100, then we would need to divide the numerator by the denominator and then multiply by 100. So in this example we have 38 fortieths, or 38 over 40. And automatically looking at 40 I know that it's not a factor of 100, it can't go into 100 evenly. So I divide the numerator by the denominator, which I've done over here, 38 divided by 40, 40 goes into 38 zero times, so we add a zero in our decimal point there. So now we think of this as 380, 40 into 380 goes 9 times, 9 times 40 is 360, 380 take away 360 is 20, we add another zero and bring it down. 40 into 200 goes 5 times, 5 times 40 is 200, 200 minus 200 is 0. So we have our answer of 0.95. So 38 divided by 40 is 0 0.95, and again, writing it as a percent means that we're multiplying by 100, which means that we are moving that decimal point two places to the right because 100 has two zeros in it. So here's our decimal point. We move it two places to the right, and we have 95%. So 38 fortieths, written as a percent, is 95%.